I vlog again. Aren't you surprised? Vlogging um, more, even though I vlogged last week on a roll. So I just recorded a new YouTube video in my Flute Life series. Haven't done that in a while. I'm excited about that one. It's about adult students and coming back to your instrument after a long time. So I'm hoping that that resonates with some of you and that some of you can find that helpful. I also spent the morning recording some stuff from the Flute Center that hopefully maybe will be out by the time that I post this vlog. Taught a lesson and now I need to practice. It's never ending, right?
just got done with the dress rehearsal just got home from that wow this has been a long week that's all i can say long but exciting this is really great music the bar talk is so fun to play but it's also so terrifying at the same time it's a combination of both it's like you have to be concentrating the entire time not that you know you should always be concentrating when you're performing but like hyper focus like if you lose any concentration for a split second you're screwed. So I'm gonna try to relax a little bit right now before I have to go back to play the concert. But I have to share something with you guys. I haven't been looking at my social media a ton in the past few days because I've been so busy, but I just checked my TikTok and Lizzo commented on one of my videos. What? I am unwell. I cannot believe it. It's gonna take me a while to recover from this. It's this video that got super popular over there with like 6 million views. I filmed it in literally 30 seconds. I just had this idea and I filmed it. I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was just gonna be, you know, uh, another little funny video. Still trying to wrap my mind around that. Also, we both play on Miramatsu flutes. How cool would it be? to play a duet with her one day. A girl can dream. I just got done doing some teaching. I got back just in time from Pennsylvania. My sister is a literal angel and she drove me to the bus stop this morning at 5 a.m. Thank you, Sarah. Now I'm gonna get ready and I'm going to Carnegie to hear Hedermias perform. He's playing Stravinsky, A Soldier's Tale with other Met Opera Orchestra musicians. I've been listening to him prepare this piece, practice this piece for the past few months, so I am excited to hear it in context instead of just hearing his part. <laughs> I definitely know the violin part very well. The concert went well last night, but oh my goodness, like, stressful. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, just one of those pieces where there's just no moment where you can let your guard down or relax. Not like, you know, playing a Beethoven symphony that you've played a million times and you know so well and you don't even have to count constantly. Not that you're not counting, but you know what I mean. Like you have to really be on top of it. Maybe if I knew the piece better, this is my first time playing the Bartok. So maybe my next time <laughs> won't be as uh, stressful. But it went well and I, I felt pretty on top of my game for the most part. Like I was able to focus. It was just such a long day. Dress rehearsal in the morning, playing through everything and then having to come back at night and do it again. But I'm really glad that I got the experience 
to play that piece. So now I'm done with working on that rep, obviously. And tomorrow I have rehearsal for the Brandenburg Concerto number four. If you remember one of my vlogs from last summer, I was playing the Brandenburg four with this group called Pegasus. This will be our, I think, fourth time playing it. So I know it pretty well at this point, but I need to play through it tonight and just make sure that I'm super prepared for tomorrow. I can't get the bar talk out of my head though. One, two, three, da da dum, da 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 da. The counting is like permanently ingrained in my brain. Does that happen? Do you guys ever, like you're working on a piece and you wake up in the morning and it's just already there in your head. It feels like you've been going through your brain while you're sleeping. <laughs> This concert's in Wild Hall at Carnegie. It's not the big, um, the Stern Auditorium, which is what everyone thinks of when they think of Carnegie. But this hall doesn't have nearly as many seats as the big hall, so I almost was not able to get a ticket. These concerts sell out really fast. Okay, I look like slightly more alive, even though I might not feel like it inside. Mm -hmm. 